Hey knitters, it's Wednesday. So today hasn't really been that great of a day and I don't really feel like making this video, but I'm gonna do it because I have a giveaway to announce, which will come at the end of this video. But first I'm going to talk about knitting and crocheting, which I haven't done any, but I've been meaning to tell you. For my birthday, my sister got me some yarn and it's awesome yarn. It's Hufflepuff color yarn, guys. Like pre-striped, all you gotta do is make stuff with it. And I got two of these and I'm not really sure what to make. Because I already have a Hufflepuff scarf that Michael made, <clears throat> and I don't really have enough for, like, an afghan or whatever, but I think it's, like, too much for, like, a hat. So I'm not really sure what I want to make with this yarn, so if you guys have any suggestions of cool Hufflepuff stripey things I could make, let me know. So this week's theme is where would we go in the Harry Potter universe if we had the chance, and my answer to this question is the Great Hall. Um, I feel like a lot of magic happens there. A little bit of a pun intended. Um, I think that just it's very like iconic as far as like Hogwarts goes. The whole four tables and the teachers all up there and stuff and so I just I think that that would be a very magical and like awesome place to be and it would just feel like home and Hogwarts and everything would be right and beautiful and nothing would hurt and stuff like that. So yeah I would want to see the Great Hall. As for everyone's videos Jenny, you're in London right now, probably enjoying Harry Potter themed things, and I'm so happy for you that you're getting to live the nerd dreams and stuff. Amber, I know you're stressed about making sure that you have enough stuff for your craft fair thing, um, so, but I think that you'll be fine, because y if you keep going at the rate that you're making stuff, you'll have a ton of stuff, and um, you seem to be picking projects that you can work out pretty quickly, so that's always a good thing. Um, and I would make some more of those little berets and stuff because those are super cute and they're and I'm sure they don't take very much time So I think that people would really enjoy that and maybe do some like bun hats like you do a lot of headbands So maybe like quirky hats. I don't know. I always have a thing for like novelty hats even though I don't really wear hats a lot um, But I lo like I have a collection of weird hats and I don't even wear hats. So <laughs> Maybe that's just me. I would buy a weird hat if I saw it Michael, we got to see your face two weeks in a row now. I feel spoiled because we haven't seen you in so long, but it's great to see you. And, um, I don't even know what else to say. Michael's cool. Okay, and Meira, I'm sorry, I can't really remember what you've talked about in your video because this week has been kind of a crappy week and I've just blocked out everything that's not related to graduate school. So, um, but I hope you're feeling better because I know you were sick a couple of weeks ago. So... Hope you're feeling better, and I heart you, and I'll try to remember what you say <laughs> in future. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the announcement of the giveaway winner. Um, if you don't know, you've had the last three weeks to leave comments on my videos to win some awesome prizes like yarn and crochet hooks and a little teacup plushie and some pizza magnets. This is a terrible display of what you're gonna win but there's what you're gonna win okay so I've put all of the um, comment name people into this Harry Potter hat on little yellow post-it notes and I'm gonna pull one out and we're gonna see who wins the giveaway and stuff okay so if I pick your name check your inboxes I'll be emailing you or sending you a message or whatever you call it to um, get your address so I can send you your prizes and the winner is I don't know how to say this Mari B. Rue 35 or Mary B. Rue 35 however you say it um yeah so I'll put it I'll put the name here so congratulations to the giveaway winner and I'm sorry to all of those who didn't win but thank you for s subscribing and watching and commenting and being awesome and maybe next time I don't know maybe I'll do this again alright so I'm gonna go edit this video now I hope that everyone is having a great week and I will see me era tomorrow bye your inboxes or whatever the winner will get an email from me moving my hands around a lot Jeez Louise. This is cute. This is real cute.